take a moment, get ourselves comfortable, feel ourselves sitting in our chairs, our altars in front of us. We're going to go, we're going to grow our roots down through our feet and grow them down through the floors, push them down through the basements into the soil far beneath where we are sitting. And as we go down through the earth, we're going to go and search out for the waters far below, for the pools of water, the waters of chaos, the waters of potential. As we search down, we're going to push through the soil, around the rocks, around some boulders. Keep on pushing down until we find that bedrock far below. As we hit that bedrock, we'll spread out, searching for these pools of water. Until at last we find one and dip our roots into it. And now, with each and every breath, we're going to pull that water up. To pull that water up through our roots and into our feet. Feel the waters come up with each and every breath into our legs. Bring them up into our loins and into our bellies. Feel your body filling with these waters, these crisp, cool waters as we bring them up further into our chest. Feel the waters coming up, coming up into your head and out your hands. And on the next breath, waters come fully up and come out of our heads and out of our hands and flow back into the earth. Feel these crisp, cool waters running through our bodies, filling us with the chaos of the waters, filling us with the potential of this chaotic energy. Take of this energy. Then look up. And we're going to grow our branches up through the roofs, up through the clouds, into the skies, until we can find that one star directly above our head. I'm going to reach up to that star. We're going to pull down the fires from above, the fires of order, fires of potential, and bring these fires down into our branches, filling us with this energy as we bring it down. With each and every breath, we bring the fires further down into our heads and into our chest. As we breathe, we bring them further into our bellies. Feel the warm fires mixing with the cold waters as we bring them down into our loins and into our legs. With each and every breath, the fires come further down into our feet. And as we look at our bodies, we can see them glowing with the waters from below and the fires from above. Order and chaos, the powers of potential mixing throughout our bodies. Breathe deeply and take of these energies all that you need. Fill your body up with the order and chaos, the fires and waters. Bring yourself to the point where you're back to your normal center. And now push the waters back down to the earth. Push the fires back up into the sky. And know if you ever need these powers ever again, you can always reach down and you can always reach up and bring them into your bodies. But for now, Push the excess into the ground, push the excess into the sky. Then take a deep breath in and out. <coughs> in and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes, prepared for the ritual tonight. Our first offering, as always, is to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us. Without you, we would not be here. You give us food, you give us shelter. You give us a place to live for all, all these beautiful land spirits around us. For everything that you do for us, Earth Mother, we cannot say thank you enough. 
But for now, we ask Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the kindred. We are here to ask for their blessings in return. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well, your waters run deep into the earth. Your roots connect with the ancestors far below. To you, we offer you the silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fire, you burn and transform. You send our offerings high into the sky, the shining ones far above. To you, we offer you this incense. Hopefully, stay caught. And we say sacred fires burn within us. Mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, to the wells and the ancestors far below. Your branches run high into the sky, the shining ones far above. We express you and we send to you. We say, sacred tree, grow within us. And now in my grove and in all of our groves, by the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. Next, we call on the gatekeepers. Mighty gatekeepers, you have aided us throughout the years. We call to you today to aid us once more. We ask that you take our words far and wide. And we ask that you bring back to us what we need to hear. We ask that you watch over us and guide us as we walk your holy roads. And we ask that you protect us as we do our works this evening. For all of this, gatekeepers, we ask, accept our offerings. Now, keeper of the ways, join your magic with ours in my house and in all of our houses. Let our wells open as gates to the underworld. Let our fires open as gates to the upper worlds. Let our trees be the crosses between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. In each and every one of our groves, so that our gates be opened. Now, let's make offerings to the ancestors. Mighty ancestors, those of you that are each and every one of our families, those of you who are related to us, we have called, we call upon you. We ask you to join us at our fires. To all of you that, of our chosen families, our inspiration, our mentors, our heroes, we call to you and ask you to join us at our fires. And to all the ancestors of this very earth, you who are here long before us, you who are still here with us, we call to you and ask you to join us at our fires. Come and accept our welcome. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Mighty land spirits, you have fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kin. Come and join us at our fires. You of leaf and twig, stem and flower. Our plant kin. Come and join us at our fires. And you of the unseen, our house spirits, our land spirits, you 
who are all over and rarely acknowledged. Come, join us at our fires. We call to you and we offer you welcome this evening. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And now we call to the shining ones. To gods and gods of the older days, you who watch over each and every one of us, our personal matrons and patrons, come and join us at our fires. You of this very earth, who are here long before us and are still here watching over us, come and join us by our fires. And to all of you unknowns to us, and all who watch over us without our knowledge, Come and join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. <sighs> and now, if you have any personal offerings you wish to make to any of the kindred, please feel free to make them now. said before, surely say again, watch over those that need our, your help, especially those at the border. There are no further offerings to be made. Mighty kid, we have given to you, we give to you one last time. We ask with all these offerings that we make to you, that you bless us in return. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And now, kindred, we ask for blessings and what blessings we receive. Once this knotted bag gets opened. Ah, from the ancestors, what blessings do we receive? We receive kanas, the spark, torch, inspiration. From the land spirits, what blessings do we receive? We receive onsus, the ruin of communications, the ruin of words. The shining ones, what blessings do we receive? Oh, the shining ones, they give us hoggle. They give us Warning of major change to come. <sighs> what I'm getting out of this is listen to your inspiration and let that inspiration lead you to making major changes as needed. Let that inspiration protect you from major changes that are coming. But let's listen to your inspirations. Do we accept these all? And with that, to each and every one of our waters, mighty kindred, we have given to you. And we ask that you fill all of our waters with the only we have just heard. 
fill them with the inspiration from the land spirits, no, sorry, from the ancestors, and those who have walked before us. Fill these with the communications, the ability to listen and to talk from the land spirits. Fill them with the changes that are yet to come from the shining ones. May our inspirations and our communications make these changes a positive change for us. Fill these waters with these omens. Behold the waters of life. Now, there are no more offerings to be made. Let's thank all of those who have aided us. Shining ones, gods and gods of other days, we have called to you, we have asked you to join us, and you have aided us. For all of that, we say, shining ones, we thank you. Land spirits, we've called to you once more, ask you to join us. We have and you have aided us for all that you do. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the ancestors, all of you, we've called to you before, you've joined us. And once again, you have aided us. For all that you do, ancestors, we thank you. And now, gatekeepers, We have called to you many times before and asked you to open the ways. Once more, you have done so. For all of that, we say once again, thank you. And we ask that you once more join your magic with ours. In my home and in all of our homes, let the wells become but water. Let our fires become but flame. Let our trees become a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, without you, we would not be here. You aid us, you feed us, you house us. For all that you do for us, we cannot say thank you enough. But for now, Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended.